Hi friends, I'm Sarah Rose, and today I painted a portrait of my brother for his birthday. Um, about two weeks ago, I also painted a portrait of my sister for her birthday, so you can check that out. I started out by sketching the drawing, or the, um, the painting, by using my Ticonderoga black pencil and using a reference photo that my brother um, had and he liked. So, yeah. <coughs> Uh, it was a little bit difficult for me to sketch just because if you watched my last, um, the portrait that I did of my sister, I said it's hard for me to draw people that I know because I always feel like it doesn't look right. Um, so I did most of it off camera and I just flashed it on screen a few seconds ago and now I'm mixing my praying watercolors because, um, uh, I decided to use Prang because I think it lays down on this paper better and I wanted this to look good because there were a lot of shadows in the um, reference picture and I knew I'd be laying down a lot of layers so I thought it would work better. So I mixed um, some skin tone and I put the first layer down and I realized the paper is really wrinkled. I don't know, my whole sketchbook is like warping so I just decided to tape it down and that little piece of tape keeps popping up and I eventually change it. Um, now I'm using um, some brown and greens and blues um, and probably a little bit of black to create a shadow and <laughs> at this point I was like this is looking all right this is you know it's starting to look like what I'm envisioning and then it just gets really horrible and I look at it like oh god I messed up um, <laughs> but it eventually looks better right now it looks like he has some sort of like blue disease or like you got punched in the face um and now i'm just trying to create the reflection that the um i guess the light that the sun was creating on his glasses and it was shining onto his face and i'm just trying to create that I'm trying to paint his lips oh uh, and his mustache <laughs> and i'm still working on that blue shadow uh in the reference picture, you can totally see that the shadow on the side of his face, this left side of his face, is blue. It's very blue toned, but it is translating weirdly in the painting. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I'm also using my Daily Rowney Simply Watercolor um, paint brushes in size 8. It's round. I use it a lot. Um, uh, down below, all of my supplies are listed in the description box, along with my social media my Patreon and my Pinterest, so go down there, look at all the supplies I use, and follow me on social media, and become my patron. <laughs> uh, the tape keeps popping off on the right side. Yep, this painting is progressing. Progressing, look at that. Woo! <laughs> oh, um, I'm recording these voiceover on Saturday, the 25th, so... Yesterday was Black Friday. If you guys went Black Friday shopping, you can tell me about it in the comments below. I never go Black Friday shopping because I don't like big crowds in general. That's a lie. I just don't like shopping in general and big crowds shopping. Uh, so it's not very it's not very appealing to me. Also, I uh, don't. I prefer internet shopping over shopping in real life. I guess. <laughs> um, oh. And Thanksgiving also passed. I hope you guys had good Thanksgivings. Um, how much did you guys eat? I know I ate way too much. Uh, a lot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> uh, way more than I should have eaten. But it was all delicious. And we ate um, Thanksgiving at my house too uh, yesterday, Friday. And it was very delicious as well. We actually had macaroni. Ooh, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good. Wow, I just totally did not talk about his hair color. I mixed up a nice uh, color to lay down as the base color for his hair. It's kind of grayish. It's brownish. Um, I'm trying to darken it. His hair is also um, lighter than, well, it's lighter than my hair, but it's not gray. And I kind of painted it gray <laughs> in this, but uh, yeah, it's lighter than my hair. And the sun was shining on the top of it a lot, and it ends up looking nice. Oh, I'm also using my... Um, Welcome. Oh, Royal and Langnickel. Royal Gold Taclon brush in size 10. It's square. I accidentally stained it during this video, using all the blues and blacks that I did. 
Um, I'm trying to, at this point in the video, I'm also trying, to, I'm trying to emphasize the shadow that the uh, sunglasses are casting on his face. And I also try to tone down that blue shadow a bit. And I'm also defining his hair more. Woo! And... Yep, just going through with the brush. <laughs> um, I think at that point where I just raised my hands, the camera cut off for a second, but it didn't really look like you you guys missed much. I just thought you did. <laughs> now I'm going in with a gray color and emphasizing the white, the, the folds in his white shirt. Oh, and uh, just darkening that shadow more. And eventually I actually, okay, yeah, I'm painting the background soon. I'm mixing up the green color for that. I use like all of the greens that come in this palette. I think there are two. Probably put a little blue in that. And I'm just trying to, uh, there was a lot of foliage in the background in this painting, or the actual picture. So I'm trying to replicate that as best as I can without having to work too hard on the plants. Um, there's also blue sky, really light blue, blue sky. Put that in there. Okay, now I'm working on the shadows on his neck. My sister came in my room um, and was like, maybe you should add more shadow to his neck. And I looked at the reference and I was like, oh man, I really should. I think the shadows on the neck balanced out the shadow on his face. Um, and made it look more natural instead of just having a really dark like, mark on the side of his face. Because he doesn't have a dark mark on the side of his face. So that emphasized, not emphasized, it helped um, balance it out. So I'm just working on that for for a little bit. Yep. Just defining that jawline and shadow around his neck. Uh, I'm trying to also tone down some of the blue on the, the shadow that I put on his face. It looks a lot like him. He liked it. I, <laughs> I let him see it early. His birthday's on Monday. And I was like, come look at the painting I made you. And he said, oh, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay. I tried to make it look like the sun was shining. You know, the sun shining straight on the left side of his face. And I'm trying to, well, the left side, you know, just of this painting. And I'm trying to emphasize that. Uh, I think I did an alright job. Oh, now I'm breaking out the colored pencils. Guess we're done painting today. Woo! That is a brown praying pencil. Um, I said it earlier in the video, I can say it now, all of my supplies are listed in the description box along with my social media, my Patreon, become a patron today, and, uh, <laughs> my Pinterest. Yeah, so I whip out a lot of colors. If you really want to, you can pause on the screen and, you know, see, that's a black pencil. <sighs> yep, just using that to, uh, define some of his curls and some of the shadow, his nose a little bit. That's a very red pencil. His lips are like, oh, that, that's rosewood now. I just pulled out rosewood. His lips are pink. Yep. <laughs> I think most people's lips are, I guess. Uh, but, but, like, they're pink and I didn't want to make it look like he has lipstick on, but I, uh, you know, had to make them look like they do, so they don't look like lipsticks on them. Okay, stop blabbering, Sarah. Now we're on to the sunglasses. This is a good part. It makes it look you know, normal, because I was staring at the, uh, the reference. I was like, this doesn't look quite right. Duh, I forgot the sunglasses. So I'm using my, uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in size B. It's a brush pen. Extra black. Uh, it's just a black pen. And I colored that in, and I'm using my Jelly Roll in white to add highlights to the sunglasses and his hair, um, and just the side of his face where the sun is supposed to be shining. And I also... Uh, you know, his lips and stuff. Things that need highlighted. I also, um, am about to break out... Well, actually, no, I don't know if I'm gonna take it out yet. Yep, the jelly roll in gold, and I outlined the bottom of his glasses in gold, because they are gold. Um, and just re outline my signature too, and add a smiley face, because that's cute! Well, Alright there, uh, friends, thank you guys for watching this. The video is going to be over soon, so, um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you have a great week. Thank you guys for watching this, and, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great life. This is the final result. Um, again, happy birthday, Jakey, and, uh, see you guys later.
Bye. Thank you.